All right, this is David Brock's here with the Lansing Lions. Nick's going to start us out here and introduce everybody and kind of talk about the preseason. Uh, I'm Nick Redwine. I play quarterback. I'm Colin McCarthy, and I play defensive end. I'm Steve Ray, and I play running back. So that answers our early question of who's the quarterback. Yes, sir. So uh, talk a little bit about that process. Who who'd you compete with for the job? Or uh, I competed with Dylan Jenkins. He's a junior. Okay. Is this your senior year? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Talk a little bit about uh, you know early season and numbers out and what you guys did over the summer. Uh, we had a lot of guys. We had a lot of like really good participation over the summer. We hit the weight room pretty hard. We hit uh, a couple of camps, KU. Uh, we went to one at Olathe South and at Olathe North. So you guys got new school this year. Talk a little bit about you know the transition over to the new Lansing High School, new field, new everything. So talk, talk a little bit about that. Uh, it's a really big school. It took a little bit of getting used to the first week, but it's all worth it for that new field. That's It's beautiful. It's really great. What about the weight room and everything? I mean, the big step up from where you guys were before? Yeah, definitely. There's I think we have somewhere close to 16 racks in there, and that's a big step from where we had maybe three in the old weight room. So you take over for uh, Christian Abbott last year. Talk a little about what type of quarterback are you, more running, throwing, or how would you describe your game? Um, you know, I think that's really one of the coaches' things. If you want to ask them what type of quarterback I am versus Christian, uh, he's a great guy. It was awesome to be around him for three years. He's a very gifted thrower of the football, and I know he's going to do great things at the Merchant Marine Academy. So, Steve, talk a little bit about, you know, coming, up, coming over from uh, Slago, transferring over, and what you think you're, what dimension you add to this team? Well, you know, originally my parents felt that it was a better educational opportunity for me, and then football came second. But you know, everyone welcomed me. It, it was a, it was it's a nice experience over there. Um, the, like the new field, all that. It just gave an extra boost to everyone's step. And yeah. So, uh, you guys got Dewan Wilkes back. So, at running back, talk, talk a little bit about how he's looked so far preseason and, and uh, during the off season. Well, you know, he's been working hard over summer, just just as everyone else has been. Uh, you know, he ran track, so he got his speed up some more. Yeah. Been lifting. Colin, talk a little bit about the defense and, and kind of what, what we can expect. You know, I, know, I think you got like Sam Twitch will be back again this year. Uh, is Quentin playing a, a linebacker or McQuillan? Um, the, yourself? the positions, uh, like who's starting where and not, everyone's getting reps, so we don't really have our set depth chart yet. We'll know that this week, but yeah, Sam Twitchell and Quentin and all of them are just out here working hard and our mentality is just get after the ball as fast as possible and keep your head on a swivel. So our we just try to work hard every play. So you guys under second year or under Coach McCall, talk a little bit about him and, and kind of maybe some of the differences of what you had last year where he was kind of kind of learn his way to wh what you're doing this year. Um, this year we we have like more of a set path to follow. I don't know if you noticed last year in our play, but we were changing almost every week. Um, now we're set on one thing and. His, the mentality he brings to the team is one that is very effective and it permeates every other person and affects everyone in the same way that we're all just working hard and want to be the best we can be. Who who would you guys say is, is Lansing's biggest rival? I'd probably say Mill Valley. Mill Valley. Yes, sir. They are, we, yep, we just want to beat them real bad, so. So talk, talk a little bit about that game. They obviously got a lot coming back uh, this year. And, you know, you got to speak openly. They, they've been, you know, kind of putting it on you guys the last few years. So talk, talk a little bit about what you guys need to do, what adjustments you need to make in order to, uh, you know, compete with them. I, I believe we've made the necessary adjustments to compete with them. Right now we just have to put those adjustments into action. Um, we never really know how we're going to do till we get in the game. That's something that you just realize once you're playing. So. We won't know till we play them, but we are very excited to do that. So h how exciting is it for you guys to open up the new field Friday against Piper? I mean, you guys looking forward to that, you know, having a big crowd coming out and opening up the stadium? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, the atmosphere is going to be like one we haven't experienced yet, but we still just need to go out there and play like it's just another game. We need to work hard like it's just another game. But, Nick, talk about some of the players maybe we hadn't heard about before, maybe some young players that are stepping up that – have kind of shown out and maybe make a contribution this year? I mean, for us, Steve is new for us, and 
I'm sure everyone knows that Steve is a great athlete and he's going to be making a lot of plays for us. Another guy out here that's going to make a lot of plays for us is Henry Myrick. He's got some serious speed. Uh, Zach Schneider, a uh, back that probably not most of the league has heard about yet. Uh, and we got some guys on the defensive side of the ball who are going to make a lot of plays too. Is that Joe's brother? Or is he related to Joe? No, sorry. Different Schneider. Different Schneider. Oh, okay. Lansing got a bunch of Schneiders up there, I guess. We actually have a new coach, a new coach Schneider. Oh, okay. Very nice. You guys have uh, Coach Wesley up there too. We always like to shout him up. He's a former uh, Slago alumni. I know you probably had uh, him as a coach too. Talk a little bit about uh, Coach Coach Wesley and you know working with him. Coach Wesley is that guy who's always got you fired up, and he'll motivate you any way he can. Uh, he's a super positive guy all the time, and you know when you screw up, he'll tell you. But when you do something right, he'll get on that too. He's one of those guys who just motivates you to get to that next level all the time. All right, guys, you want to shout anybody out, you know, for get the fans out on Friday night or what? All good. All right, I appreciate you guys coming. All right,